Yo, my name is Zosh. Yo, it's Young Static. What's cracking, guys? This is Christian from Honda Vlogs. Yo, 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 Vatos Locos. It's Vasile Garage. And you know who you're watching? You're watching Lazy Man Garage. You're watching Lazy Man Garage. And you're watching Lazy Man's Garage. Lazy Man Garage. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. In today's video, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to find something around here in the group. Like I was saying, I'm going to find something in here to do to the uh, to the car or or something. So let's get started on our day, huh? Hmm? Goddamn lies and shit. Mm, let's see what we can I do. I could probably uh, degrease the engine. Take off the header, the intake manifold for uh, for Jake and the distributor for Jake, and the Jake for Jake, and also the Jake. He was saying that he needs them. I need them. I fucking need them. If anybody knows a place that can resurface flywheels, please drop down in the comments down below on where I can get that done. Cause I have an act flywheel. I need to get resurfaced or scratched or whatever the fuck they do. Just wish I had another one of these. Cause then I would put that one on one of these because I have another one of these in the backyard. Oh, fuck my sister and call me a bitch. <laughs> I just found one. Only one downside. It doesn't um, have a pin for it or a sticky stick stick, but uh, <coughs> it only has three things. So whatever, I'm gonna make this work. You fat bastard. <laughs> Damn it. Mother. <sighs> <coughs> need to do now is take this out, take off the clutch flywheel off of that for Jake, then uh, bolt this bad boy in, and then somehow do this all by myself. I'm gonna send it just like this. I got three of these little doohickeys here. I just need to break them loose, push this fat boy back in, and I don't know, just uh, put a bolt in there, I guess. It'll work. I mean, shit, I mean, if I manage to get this to work here, you know. Oh, yeah. So like I said, if I got this to work, then I can get that to work. Not a problem. I just think I should tighten up the wheels or something. At least give it a squirt down. Or WD-40, the wheels. No? Works fine. So I'm gonna do what I do best. Procrastinate. I'm still filming. Check it out, man. I did the whole yard. There ain't no no leaves, no sticks. Leveled it and shit. Edged that motherfucker, gave it a nice taper, came out here with my clippers. Okay, so I took off the uh, pressure plate and flywheel and clutch. When I did so, this bearing was no good. Literally just exploded on me. A bunch of little ball bearings came flying right out, but the threads are good. This looks new. I'm going to change the oil pump here. Pretty sure that's where the oil pump is. I'm not too sure. I think it's on the other side. Still have to sleep, so fuck you guys, but now it's time to take off the uh, intake and fuel rail and he can have all his little parts back. So everything is off right now, except for the distributor. The only reason why I haven't taken off the distributor is because I plan on giving this block a wash down. So I'm gonna cap off the, uh, uh, sorry. I'm gonna cap off the uh, intake manifold uh, ports with uh, some blue tape, make it look, you know, good, I guess. And then cap that off right there with my, uh, charcoal canister or whatever it's called so I got the intake manifold off the half shaft the alternator and the flywheel and pressure plate and clutch so these are all good to go for him oh and his uh, steel braided clutch line for to his slave so yeah that's it and uh, I'm gonna take a break for a second cuz I'm hot and I'm sweating I sweat profusely I sweat more than the average pig so I'm going to just 
block off some things here so that way water or doesn't get into the block and fuck shit up. A few hours have passed and I realize I don't have bolts that are big enough for this to fit into there. Jake still hasn't came for his parts and uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I already taped up the intake manifold gasket like this so that way when I go to paint and degrease water won't get into the runners. So now I'm just going to go over every little sensor and tape them up so that way I can get it prepped for uh, degreasing tomorrow which will be included into this video. The best degreaser that I always use is called uh, Easy Off. It's a uh, oven cleaner, heavy duty. Runs fairly cheap. You can also go down to a dollar store and just buy some uh, oven cleaner. Just spray it on there. Let it sit there for like 10-15 minutes. But make sure that you uh, scrub like with wire brush or Phillips or I mean, not Phillips, flathead screwdriver and you like scrub the little nicks like the, the little corners and nicks in areas and all that stuff and then then spray this let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes then squirt it with water all of it will come out right off that's what I did to the transmission and it came out flawlessly inside and out not like inside where the gears are but like inside where the like the main uh, well the throw out bearing is and like the outside spotless so that that's ready to paint this on the other hand this is not there's always three ways of doing things there's the right way the wrong way and the way that I do it when it comes to that uh, some people just stuff st uh, socks in there I've done that too that works socks or a rag uh, some people just take like an extra hose like this one right here that's going to the water neck and they just kind of take this and put it right over there just kind of force it on there so that way you don't get any water going inside this which is I think a coolant line if I'm not mistaken hold on let me put that on there a little bit more okay cool so that's going on there some people just say fuck it and they just squirt the whole thing down even with the sensors sticking out I've done that plenty of times never had a problem but again I don't recommend it I'm gonna be like blocking this off blocking that off this plug well I'm not going to be using this because this is OBD2, I mean OBD0, but um, like like the uh, oil pressure sensor and this, those are all going to be taped off and squared away along with the other side. Now when it comes to the header side of the motor, um, I'm not going to do anything to it really because there's no sensors in the front. The headers are already on it, so there's not going to be any water that's going to get in, but I might tape off the bottom part of the header itself due to the fact that it's not the whole header piece it's just like the the mid pipe not the like the the pipe that goes underneath I'm gonna just tape the bottom piece up because when I squirt I squirt it all over the place wait pause when I squirt the hose I don't, I, I don't squirt do uh, so right now I'm gonna get down and uh, tape things up and get started can't put you on a time lapse because I don't have anything to have the phone sit on and get a good angle but You'll see when I'm done. Okay, so I got the uh, alternator brackets off completely. Uh, everything's all taped up and ready to go for tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna start scraping some of this shit off. Like, see how this like kind of flakes off? I don't know if you guys can see that, but burp. That's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, it comes out good tomorrow. If not, is that what I fucking think it is? Oh, that's just grease. I thought that was JB Weld. I was about to say. I was like, no, there's a hole in my fucking block. But okay, so I'm gonna end it right here. I'm not gonna end the whole video, but I'm gonna end this little segment till tomorrow. Tonight, I'm just gonna scrape shit off, and I'll, I well, I guess I'll show you guys what it looks like after. But I'm just gonna scrape shit off right now. Did why wait? So I put some uh, oven cleaner on there already, and I'm just gonna let it sit, and I'm gonna brush its teeth, and then. Uh, Tomorrow I'll be rinsing all of it mostly off, but I'm going to be squirting it down with a water bottle and or a squirt bottle, whatever. Squirt it down, and we'll see how it looks after that. After giving it a little bird bath, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's all completely degreased now. Not completely the way I would want it to be, but I mean, hey, I'm going to have to go through it again. But I need to buy more oven cleaner, see how clean it looks now. All this is the... Uh, it's not just brown water because the floor is brown, but that's all the shit that came off of it. So, yeah, doesn't look half bad, but still got more to do on the other side, which is way, way, way worse than this side.
So Jake stopped by, came over, picked up his parts. Now he's about to bounce out. Later, Jake. Let's see if he does it full. snap the whole motor is clean now son i got the front and the bizac so it's all clean now also shout out to my boy my boy tony rari life i'll be posting a link down below and the uh description so where you guys can get some of these hats he sells hats backpacks shirts stickers the works and they're pretty high quality i've been sending this bad boy it's almost done just gotta do the top uh, I didn't get to where it says Honda, and I got all that part over there. I didn't get this side, but I got most of it with, because uh, I did a lot of shaving and stuff, so I had to hit it with 60, or I mean 80. So now I'm going to hit it with a few more 80 to get all the extra uh, factory paint off, because I don't have paint stripper, like this paint right here. Then I'm going to go through with the uh, 120, uh, 180, and then finish off with 240 and then uh, hand sand the rest of it so that way it's nice and shiny. Still have the motor out here. Over here at Luis's Casa de la Crib, and he's putting on the intake. Right now we're, uh, we're thinking about putting on the headers tonight. I'm gonna try to convince him so that way we can do that, so that way the car doesn't sound like a fucking chopper. But uh, <coughs> right now we're bleeding the coolant, and uh, we'll see how that goes. The coolant's right there at the very tippy top. But uh, other than that, it sounds pretty fucking good. No more bad rough idle. Uh, no leaks. This is old. But he's, uh, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's planning. But I got him the, uh, well, we have the headers for the, from the V18. So we're just going to slap it on there. So that way it goes up to the exhaust. And it won't sound like this no more. Typically, that's the plan. So hopefully he sends it and goes with it. So we're putting on the stock uh, headers off of B18 and uh, they line up perfectly fine. The exhaust uh, gasket's on there perfectly fine too. So all we gotta do is just bolt it down. We did have to bend the flange that bolts uh, the headers to the main exhaust, but I think this is a different kind of exhaust. It's not the same one, like the OEM one. So we're gonna bolt this all up tonight. See how it sounds. He's gonna take it for a test drive. See how it feels and if he likes it we'll keep him on here until he gets the money to go uh two and a quarter it's all bolted down all he needs now is the torque belt and he's good to go and then the motor will stop fucking swaying all over the place but very quiet it's not so loud like it used to be i'm gonna end the video right here uh if you like this video please like it if you want to subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, if you want uh, Activio Racing uh, t-shirts, hats, link will be down below. If you want uh, some parts, hit up Neo's Garage. The link will also be down below. It helps me out. Plus, he's having his Black Friday sale. It ends on November 23rd, I'm, I do believe. But I'm Chris from Lazy Man Garage, and we get shit done when we feel like it. Peace.